I'm sure that many of you by now have been using the Caddy AEC wall style, so the, under the build tools, using the walls to create your building plans, take automated sections and elevations too. And here we'll see that we have, under the wall parameters within this drawing, we have the styles for the standard and a couple of other styles too. So this is the one we're going to be looking at particularly, the one with the tile hanging there. As we look at the plan, we'll see that we have different components there for our wall. So we have the, the tile hanging, we have the battens, the breather membrane, and so on, right down to the wallboard on the inside. And we'll see that we have the insulation, so uh, the insulation shown just partial fill between the studs there, and the studs shown too. So the obvious question is, how does that apply when you don't have all of it, you're just uh, horizontal, for instance? Well, we can uh, explore that one uh, as well. So let's take a look at our model and we'll see what we have here. So if we just go for uh, a wall and we pick the tile hanging wall, we'll OK that. And then literally just start drawing. And we'll see that the studs come there. And we'll see that they track around with the line of the wall too. So how's that achieved? Well, very simply, if we go to the styles for the wall, we look at the materials, so if we look at what we have for the studs and for the insulation there, we have our CA material styles. So let's just explore one of those, we'll just double click on the, uh, the component side of the style name, which brings us access to the material definition. We look and we see that they're overridden for a number of the display representations, so we'll look under the general one which we're using here, and we see that we have the ability to switch certain components on, assign the pen colours and so forth. But under the hatching, we have the hatch style, which then has the spacing and the angle, but also its orientation. So we're doing the creating the hatch with its orientation set to object. So as the object changes its angle, then so will the hatch. So it's easily achieved through the, the normal tools for customising the materials. So closing down those, we'll just go to a view here. So we've just created a little plan and we see that we have our standard wall. We'll see that we have the standard wall style there with its materials. So you can always access what materials are there. Uh, if I were to select my walls, what we can do is we can also change them to the style that we want as well. And we'll see there that we have exactly what we created just a few moments ago with our studying, with our insulation, and allowing us to place our doors, windows, door window assemblies as we wish. Literally selecting them, selecting them from our, our library or whatever's in the drawing, and then just placing them in the drawing. So, Quick and simple use of caddy AEC wall styles.